going in with is Jada. And I'm just taking this on a fluffy blending brush and I'm just blending this into my crease. And then just taking a smaller and defined brush just to really pack on that colour, just to pay off some pigment. I then just go in with a clean brush and I'm just blending those edges out just to make sure there's no harsh edges. I'm then going in with the Naked Skin Concealer and just cutting out my crease. I went a little higher than I usually do. I then took my Beauty Blender and just blended out the creases. Just so when I packed on colour. It went on smoothly. The shade I went in with is Pool Party. I'm absolutely obsessed with this colour. And I just sprayed a bit of setting spray just to make that pigment, oh sorry, that colour a little bit more pigmented. I then went in with the shade in light and I just packed this in on my inner corner. I was having a little trouble getting this to be pigmented, but I kind of ended up liking that it wasn't too intense. I then went in with my Hangover Primer by Too Faced and obviously just put on lashes and eyeliner off camera. I think the lashes I went in with were EXO Beauty Gold Digger, they're one of my favourite lashes ever. I then went in with my NYX, oh, not NYX, sorry, my NARS Creamy Matte Concealer, I still don't really know the name of this, I'll have to learn it. I then spot concealed any of my breakouts and just redness in general. I also took it, uh, took it on my nose, just so when I applied foundation, no foundation left my nose, because that's my biggest problem with foundation, that they don't stick to my nose. Then went in with my tried and true foundation, the Too Faced Born This Way, and obviously just packed this all over my face. <laughs> the brush that I'm using to blend this in with is the Round Kabuki F82 brush by Sigma. I then went back in with that Naked Skin Concealer and just concealed under my eyes, bridge of nose, chin and forehead. I 
been taking my RCMA powder. I'm just setting that concealer down just so it doesn't crease throughout the day. I then went with my TARDIS Pro Glow palette and I cream contoured using this shade here. Then just took my Astralis Fresh and Flawless powder and just powdered the rest of my face just to keep my face very matte. I then took the other shade, contouring shade from the Tardis Pro Glow palette and just contoured over that cream contour. I then took the RCMA powder again and just baked under my contour just to create that really cut line. I then took my Milani Luminoso blush and just packed these on my cheeks just to bring a bit of colour back to my face. Because once you powder you kind of tend to lose all the colour in your face. I then went in with that highlight shade. I didn't really go too strong with the highlight on this look. I then ran Jada again along my lower lash line. Then going in with the shade Enchanted just to deepen the look a little bit more. I really like a really dark smoky lash line. Then just taking a blending brush and just making sure that lower lash line is really blended. I then took that in light shade again and just chucked this on my inner corner. I then took the L'Oreal Brow Plumper just to make sure my brow hairs would stay in place all day. For lips, I took Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star. Just to finish off the look, because I almost forgot, I took my Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer and just bronzed up my face. Just to finish off the look, I took the NYX Setting Spray. So that completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And thank you so much for watching.